What's up guys? It's Emily here today. I'm going to take you through some of my favorite stretches. These are great for anyone, no matter your age or your fitness level. They are so beneficial. Warming up and recovery are just as important as the workout itself. Um, I know stretching is not the most fun and not the most enjoyable, but it is huge. It's so important to making to make sure that you get your body and your muscles warmed up and you recover properly afterwards. Um, I know a lot of my clients, I think probably most of them don't stretch <laughs> or do the mobility workouts that I try and get them to do on their own. But when, they, when they're with me, you know, they I make them stretch. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna stretch, we're gonna get nice and warmed up or cooled down depending on when you're doing this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get our stretch on. All right guys, so our first stretch is gonna be something nice and easy, just a simple toe touch, okay? So just let gravity do its job. You're gonna hang, reach for your toes. If your knees have a slight bend, it's okay. We're gonna get those hamstrings nice and loosened. We're just gonna hang here for like, I count to 10 really, really slow, so it's more like 20 seconds. Or if you wanna time yourself, I'd say between 20 to 30 seconds. We're gonna hang here in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, or you stand up nice and slow. Awesome. Next one we're gonna do, wide stance, toe touch. So you're just gonna reach, toe touch. Really, you're just reaching for the ground, okay? Same thing, try and keep your knees straight and reach for the ground, count to 10 slow. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand up slow. Now I like to call these reach through. So you're gonna reach literally through your legs, behind to whatever's behind you, okay? Reach, reach, reach through behind you. This really gets your hamstrings a little bit more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, stand up slow. Awesome, now we're gonna stretch out our quads, your thighs. So I call this one your heel to your booty. So you're gonna grab your heel to your booty, count to 10 slow. 10, nine, eight, seven. If you need to hold on to the wall for stability, you can. And we'll switch. Other leg, we'll switch. Three, two, one. If you have um, stability issues and you're not able to do that, holding onto the wall or to a post or something works just fine. Or something I get my clients to do are just butt kicks. Kicking your booty with your heels. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna do a couple more of my favorite stretches. You're doing great, keep it up. So the next one we're gonna do are a couple yoga poses, okay? We're gonna do child's pose, cobra, and bow and arrow. I think that's what it's called, don't quote me on that. That's what I call it though, okay? So child's pose, we're gonna get down on the ground, sit in our heels. I like to have my knees in like a little bit of a V. We're gonna reach, lay down, and reach, reach, reach for whatever's in front of you. You really wanna keep reaching your arms out Feel that stretch in your lats. Some of you may feel it in your low back as well. That's all right. Try to keep your booty on your heels, all right? Reach, count to 10 slow. Awesome, go ahead and sit up. Next, we're gonna do the cobra. So now you're just gonna lay flat on your stomach hands by your chest like you're gonna do a push-up. You're gonna press up, keep your pelvic bone on the ground, your hips on the ground. Look up to the ceiling and breathe. Awesome. Remember this is a stretch, warming up or cooling down. Time to slow down that heart rate. 
and enjoy it, even though it's not the most fun. All right, next one, we got the bow and arrow, okay? So you're gonna start in your plank on your hands and toes. You're gonna bring, we're gonna start with our right side. So we're gonna bring the right foot to our right hand and open up to the ceiling, look up nice and tall. Hold that 10 seconds. Come back down. If you can't come up straight like this, you can start on your knees and bring your foot to your hand and then come up on that back toe and then open up. We got that left side now. 10 seconds. And back down. Awesome job. Now, another one we're gonna do is the cat camel. So we're gonna go back to our hands and toes. We're gonna arch it back in. Chin into your chest. Exhale. And arch it back out. Look up to the ceiling. In. And out. In. And out. All right, the next one we're gonna do is great for the hip flexors, okay? I feel like everyone should do this stretch, especially before you're in like deadlifts, your squats, your leg days. Um, I feel like most of us sit a lot or stand a lot, um, but I feel like a lot of people these days sit a lot. <laughs> so our hip flexors get really, really tight from sitting all day. So this is great for opening your hips up so you're able to get that depth um, in your squats, or you know, you're able to get the right movement in your deadlifts, that hinge. We're gonna put one foot up, take a knee, you know, like you're in a football team, huddle up. You're gonna shift your hips forward and you're gonna lean your shoulders back, okay? And you should really feel the stretch on the leg that's on the ground. Hold this for 10 seconds. And we're gonna switch. Other knee up. Hips forward, shoulders back. Awesome. All right, next we're gonna do the same kind of stretch, but we're gonna step it up a little bit, okay? So we're gonna take our knee up, and you're gonna turn it out to the side a little bit, like at a 45 degree angle, and do the same thing. Hips forward, shoulders back. Try to make your body go straight, and the only thing that's going to the side is that knee, okay? Open up those hips more. These are really great for that squat to warm up. And you can step it out a little bit more. Same thing. And back to the other. So we'll do the other leg out 45 degrees. Everything's going forward except this knee. Back, go wider. Everything's going forward, knees going out. Hips forward, shoulders back. Awesome, all right, next. We're gonna stretch out our going a little bit more. We're gonna take one foot out to the side, toe forward. This toe is gonna be flat like that. Don't go up on your toe, flat on the ground. Straight back behind you. You're gonna go on your hands. We're gonna sit back in that heel. We're gonna come up on our knee. Walk back and forth. Really great for stretching out the grill line. Back and forth. I like to do like 10 or so on each side. And come back, other leg, toe forward, other toe flat, sit back in the heel, up on your knee. Back in your heel, up on your knee. All right, now we're gonna work on our T-spine, okay? So we're gonna stay in this position, back on our hands and toes. Whatever leg is straight out, we're gonna take that arm, open it up to the ceiling, kind of like that bow and arrow that we did. Come back down, and this is where it gets tricky. We're gonna do the other arm now, okay? You might not be able to open up as wide, like me. That's all right. Back down, awesome. All right, let's switch, other side. So, right arm up, hold that. Back down, and left arm. Oh, this side's tight. Oh. I'm shaking, are y'all shaking? I'm shaking. You got a wall? 
Great, that's what you're gonna need for this one. So we're gonna stretch out our low back, our glutes, and our hamstrings. So we're gonna hold each of these stretch for, stretches for a minute. And so with this one, you're going to face the wall, put your legs up against the wall, scoop your booty <laughs> gracefully close to the wall where you can feel the wall with your butt okay we're gonna hang out here try to get your toes point your toes towards your body we're gonna hold this for one minute All right, now that that minute's up, <laughs> we're going to do the same thing, but you're gonna widen your legs out as far as they can go, okay? Hold this for a minute. As time goes on, you can scoot closer to the wall as your hamstrings loosen up. One minute. And then that minute is up. We are going to work on some upper body stretches, okay? Um, first one, super simple arm swing. So open up wide, give yourself a hug, open up wide, and alternate. Like Michael Phelps. Is he still relevant? I don't know. But I feel like this is what he did, right? This is his warm up. All right, next, we got arm circles, okay? Arms out to a T. We're gonna go 10 forward. Get those shoulders warming up, and we're gonna go 10 backwards. Awesome job. Okay, so our next one, I forget the name of it. A lot of these stretches I forget the names of. Um, I kind of make them up as I go sometimes. <laughs> um, but this one's similar to like child's pose. But if you have knee issues, this is a great alternative because you don't have to get on the ground. Um, I did literally, I do this one all the time. I get my clients to do this one all the time. It's great literally for like everything on the back half of your body and also your chest. If you have a tight chest and shoulders like I do, this is a great, great, great one. So with that, you're gonna face the wall, put your hands up like shoulder width and chest height against the wall. Just like bend in your knees, lean out, hinge movement. We're gonna lean our head through our chest, keep your arms straight, okay? Stick that booty out. And we'll stand up. All right, next up, we are going to stretch out our chest and our shoulders, okay? Um, so this one, we're gonna become best friends with our dear wall here. You're gonna take your left arm and you're gonna try and flatten it out against this wall, facing the right. Straighten out your right arm and you're gonna kind of twist, kind of like twist the wall. We're gonna switch, so we're gonna twist Awesome job, guys. You killed that stretching, mobility, warm up, and cool down. Um, again, so important to do. Don't hurt yourself, please. Uh, if you try this, let me know. Share it with a friend. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I appreciate it. Y'all did awesome. I hope you enjoyed this. What should I do next? You let me know in the comments. Um, and I will see y'all soon. Bye, guys. Good job.